Okay, this is an example of how to use ShapeBender to make a ramp. Um, the question was asked by somebody on the Sketchucation forums how to make a ramp that had approximately this type of curve to it. And the ramp that they were making was something similar to this. It had two walls with a ramp in the middle. So the idea of how to do this with ShapeBender is to take the curve that you want. So we'll take this curve and I'll pull it out and separate it. So now I've got just a single line that represents this vertical wall. And I want this shape to bend to match to this curve shape. So I'll draw a line right here next to this component. So you can see I've got my line drawn there. Because I want this wall to match up perfectly with this curve. So I draw the line exactly right next to um, this, this line here. So now I select the component to bend, activate Shape Bender, select the line, then select the curve. There we go. And we can see it has the start and start both lined up on the correct side and the end and end. Otherwise I could use the up and down arrow keys to flip things around if I wanted. But I don't. This is how I like it. So I go ahead and click Enter. It finalizes the bending. Now let's take this and just move it straight back into place. Drop it right down. There we go. And you can see we have now that ramp got bent to fit perfectly into that space I had. Now there's often a little bit of unnecessary smoothing that goes on with this script. So I'll go through and just try and find these little places and unsmooth them. I think that's it. There we go. So now that um, that is a pretty quick way to make a ramp using by using the shape bender script. Now the other thing, I mean here's another example of it I guess. This is like a road um, a road profile if you think of it that way, a road that's going slightly up a hill. So let's um, Let's bring in our materials really quick. I'll even show you how you can paint it here. So we can just add let's see, get this color selected. We're gonna just add a, a sidewalk and curb color. Then a uh, green here and the planter and something dark the roadway in the middle. Okay, it's so like that shape. And again, this is just pretty much a standard wedge shape and it's going to bend that wedge out across this entire track-like thing I've got set up. Okay, so it goes through and it has to um, cut everything up and examine it. There we go, it shows you what it's going to look like. That looks good. I hit enter and it goes through and then sketch up takes a second to write all that geometry in and here we go now we've got a nice long road that follows that let's get this out of here that follows that curved path and it starts level and ends up going slightly uphill over this entire way so anyhow I hope that's um, some good examples of how to use shape bender to do um, to help with ramps and to help draw roads that work themselves up up hills all right thanks